Does money buy happiness? That's the everlasting question. Most will say no. But we would beg to differ if the money came through hard work and dedication. If you visualize the life you really want to live and actually apply the proper principles needed to get to where you want to be, then success and money is definitely a happy reward. However, the people on our list for today's video won their money while playing the lottery. The stories we're about to share with you today prove that a sudden increase in wealth doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be happy without the proper skills to manage your money. It can actually turn into a bigger burden than you're in before you even got the money. Here we go. Billy Bob Harrell Jr., a Texan preacher, hit the jackpot in 97, winning $31 million in the lotto. Initially, it was a dream come true. He quit his job, traveled, donated to charity, and lavished gifts on family. However, the joy was short-lived. Bad investments, incessant requests for money, and a difficult divorce drained his resources and spirit. He was unable to handle the pressures that came with sudden wealth, and tragically, less than two years after winning, Harold took his own life, leaving behind a chilling reminder of the perils of sudden wealth without proper financial planning. Andrew Jack Whitaker, a successful businessman from West Virginia, won a record-breaking $315 million Powerball jackpot in 2002. Rather than bring happiness, the windfall led to a series of personal tragedies and misfortunes. Whitaker faced thefts, legal troubles, and the loss of loved ones. His generosity turned against him as he was targeted and manipulated, leading to significant financial and emotional losses. His granddaughter's premature death was particularly devastating. His fortune dwindled over the years due to these hardships, and by his own omission, he wished he had torn up the winning ticket. His story is a poignant cautionary tale about sudden wealth. Janite Lee, a South Korean immigrant, won a staggering $18 million from the Illinois Lottery in 1993. Rather than spending it on luxuries, Lee was known for her philanthropic efforts. She donated generously to educational causes, political endeavors, and community services. While her charitable giving was commendable, it wasn't financially sustainable. She also invested in several ventures that didn't pay off. Within eight years of her win, she filed for bankruptcy with only $700 left. Her case serves as a stark reminder that even with the best intentions, poor financial management can lead to a quick downfall, no matter how vast the fortune. In 2002, Michael Carroll, a British garbage man, won a life-changing 9.7 million pounds in the National Lottery jackpot. Nicknamed the Lotto Lout, Carroll quickly became infamous for his reckless spending and lawless behavior. His winnings funded an extravagant lifestyle of luxury cars, lavish parties, jewelry, and narcotics. He also faced multiple legal issues, further depleting his fortune. By 2012, his wealth was gone, and Carroll found himself living on unemployment benefits, a stark contrast to his millionaire status a decade earlier. His story is a powerful example of how uncontrolled spending and lack of financial discipline can squander even the largest fortunes. Evelyn Adams made headlines in the 1980s when she won the New Jersey Lottery twice, amassing a fortune of $5.4 million. Unfortunately, Adams was unable to manage her newfound wealth wisely. Drawn to the glamour of Atlantic City, she spent huge portions of her winnings on gambling. Moreover, her sudden wealth made her a target for people who took advantage of her financially. Her fortune dwindled quickly, and within a few years, Adams found herself living in a trailer park penniless. Adams' story serves as a stark reminder of the pitfalls of compulsive gambling and the necessity of financial prudence. In 1989, Willie Hurt, a resident of Michigan, won a $3.1 million lottery jackpot. Initially, the win seemed like a blessing, but Hurt's life took a tragic turn. A series of misfortunes, including a divorce, substance abuse, and poor financial decisions gradually ate into his winnings. The descent was steep and swift. Within two years, Hurt had not only squandered his fortune, but was also charged with murder. His story underscores the grave social and personal challenges that can accompany a sudden influx of wealth, and it emphasizes the importance of maintaining a balanced lifestyle and good decision-making even after a windfall. Suzanne Mullins won a $4.2 million jackpot in the Virginia Lottery in 1993. Her initial plan of taking annual payouts didn't last long. She switched to a lump sum payout to help a financially troubled family member, but ended up deep in debt. Mullins borrowed money from a company that specialized in lending to lottery winners, using her future yearly payouts as collateral. However, she stopped making payments after the rules on lottery winnings were changed. 
By 2004, she had no assets, and the lending company sued her. Mullins' tale is a cautionary reminder of the consequences of mismanaged finances and unchecked debt. Lisa Arcand won a $1 million jackpot from the Massachusetts Lottery in 2004. She initially enjoyed the benefits of her windfall, buying a house, taking vacations and dining out regularly. However, the reality of sudden wealth without proper financial planning soon set in. Arkins didn't invest wisely or save for the future, instead choosing to live a life of luxury that her winnings could not sustain in the long run. Within two years, she was struggling financially. Arkins' story serves as a stark reminder of the importance of prudent money management, especially when dealing with a significant sudden increase in wealth. William Bud Post III won a $16.2 million Pennsylvania lottery jackpot in 1988. Rather than leading to prosperity, his win triggered a series of misfortunes and led to financial ruin within a year. Post faced lawsuits, personal betrayal, and even an attempt on his life by a hitman hired by his own brother, who hoped to inherit the winnings. Poor financial decisions and legal troubles drained his winnings. By 1996, Post was living on a $450 monthly disability check, a stark contrast to his millionaire status. His story underscores the potential dangers and complexities that can accompany sudden wealth. What would you do different if you won the lotto? Let us know in the comments. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Hit that like button if you did, and we'll see you in the next one.